Modernizing on-premise infrastructure can be a costly and challenging task. Fortunately, modernizing on Microsoft Azure is much simpler and it doesn't require upfront investment. And it is even easier for customers that are eligible to Azure Hybrid Benefit. Not only they receive significant discount, up to 55%, they also can continue running their systems both on-premise and on-cloud for up to 180 days uh, simultaneously. This significantly reducing risk of migration. And now let's switch to demo and look how we could migrate our on-premise SQL Server 2008 to Azure uh, SQL Server. And I created the SQL Server. Here we have uh, uh, SQL Server 2008 Migrate SQL Database Service. And uh, we will use the uh, Azure Migrate Service to, to, do, to do that. And Azure Migrate Service is created now as a common hub for all your migrations and monitoring of your migrations. So there you have the, all the kind of migrations of servers, Windows or Linux. Uh, you could also migrate any kind of databases or even uh, a virtual desktop infrastructure. So, and the Azure Migrate, Migrate is now created as a common hub with all these services and uh, different kind of services you could use for assessment on migration. For example, let's look at the, if we want to migrate the service servers, we could add migration tools and use these. Here we have a couple of tools for migration, there are original Microsoft Azure tools and also third party tools specially designed for some scenarios. You could use them for assessment of your infrastructure, or you could use also the tools for migration. And again, we have some uh, uh, Azure and Microsoft tools for migration and uh, several uh, ser third party tools for migration. So it's very handful how we could uh, do all the kind of migrations for web apps or data boxes. Let's look at uh, databases. So I already created the database migration project and we have the one migrated uh, server and uh, we will start with assessment of our database. And when we click assess, we see that there, available, there are uh, available tools for that. And uh, we could start with downloading data migration assistant, DMA tool. So we download it and install on our infrastructure where our SQL server available. If we look at the SQL server management studio, we see our SQL database. Uh, it's controls on my grade. There we have uh, two tables, customers and transactions. I created a by uh, for purpose smaller database to see the actual migration, and we will start with uh, running assessment. So we run data migration assistant in our or on our infrastructure, and we will first uh, assess our database uh, and see is it. Uh, prepared or packed for migration. We start with uh, project name. You see there are two options, assessment and, or migration. We will start with assessment, SQL Server assessment. Uh, we, we choose database engine. We, we see source server. There are two options for that. Uh, we also could uh, choose assessment type for integrating integration services now available and uh, select the, one of the available target uh, server types for this. As, as we see, we could uh, migrate or in this case assess, ass do assessment of migration to platform as a service or infrastructure as a service if we choose a SQL service on Azure virtual machine. But we will, as, as we've seen previously, we created already Azure SQL database. So we'll use this for assessment. And we, we do all the assessment, so create, uh, use options, several options. So provide the connection uh, parameters, 
this case it's located on the same machine so we could use a local host and we see our data database contoso migrate so let's add it to our uh, assessment and start assessment and it will show us all the co co compliance uh, issues if any and uh, is it ready for migration for our choose uh, destination in this case we see that there is uh, uh, ser uh, sql server reporting services installed on on this server but not actually used and we see that it's not supported by Azure SQL database. Uh, it's logical, so we need to do uh, separate migration for that. If we choose, in case we choose uh, virtual machine, Azure uh, SQL Server and virtual machine, those we could also migrate uh, reporting services. But as we uh, currently don't use on this server reporting services, we just skip it. And now we could upload this project and assessment to Azure, Azure Migrate uh, uh, Hub. So to have it there and uh, probably use it later or uh, mon do it, uh, use it for monitoring. And uh, we choose a project, upload this, uh, upload this uh, assessment and it's successful. So everything okay. Uh, let's start uh, directly from here also migration project we'll create separate migration project with this uh, server type uh, choose this migration scope in this case we will migrate full database including schema and data uh, create uh, provide the connection string to uh, existing server which we want to migrate and uh, we have two databases here we say the uh, select contoso migrate uh, provide a server here we have uh, the destination server for, for our database so create connection with this database and now we have several options where we could put our database so the, here's uh, SQL Server 2008 migrate created just before this demo. Uh, click next, and now we can select the scope of the uh, database we want to migrate. In this case, to tables, and we just generate SQL scripts. So, if we need, we could use these SQL scripts uh, for generating uh, using. Uh, management studio but in this case we just use the script to uh, to deploy schema and then migrate data directly from the migration assistant tool so we deploy schema it's successfully deployed and now we could click migrate data all tables uh, by intention i created small tables to just see that how it's really migrates during this demo so all the tables migrated successfully everything is okay and now let's look and connect to this database using a uh, sql server management studio we just say connect provide uh, uh, this link to our migrated database provide the connection string connection credentials they connect and now you see that we have this Azure uh, SQL database and uh, all the databases here. Here is our currently migrated database with all the tables. So it's up and running and now we could uh, switch our application to this database and uh, if needed switch off uh, our uh, on-premise server. I hope you liked this demo. Additionally, I invite you to check out the other two videos covering backend and disaster recovery and taking end of support systems to Azure Cloud if you haven't seen them.